Reverend Sharpton. You stated in your 2004 campaign for president that you were the first anti-war candidate. And how do you feel now about the expansion of the wars into further into Afghanistan and into Pakistan? The war in Afghanistan is a different premise than the war in Iraq. However, I do not want to see the same uh, missteps based on the same misinformation uh, uh, lead us into Afghanistan. We're watching it very carefully and very cautiously. Uh, we chased uh, weapons of mass destruction that was not there in Iraq. I felt it was a diversion from those that attacked us in 9-11. In Afghanistan, I think that we must be sure what we're doing, what we're going in for, and why. So I think the president being deliberate is wise. Where his conclusion will go, we will be watching and seeing where we will go in response to that. With numerous states such as Arizona, New York, and Pennsylvania enacting or considering legislation to make uh, H1N1 uh, vaccinations mandatory, including Massachusetts uh, deputizing pharmacists and paramedics, how do you feel about this from a civil rights standpoint? Well, uh, again, our uh, national health coordinator happens to be traveled with me, Tony Wafer, who is uh, also heads our western region. And we're looking at this from a health point of view where there's a real problem. And in minority communities, there is a disproportionate problem. But you have to balance that with the civil rights point of view. We've not in National Action Network uh, uh, concluded our position because it is a very delicate balance you have to strike here.